Good morning, good morning guys. Happy Monday. Welcome to my channel. I know, I know it's been a while. I've been super busy. You cannot believe how my 2023 has been in a roller coaster to do a lot of things at once. <laughs> Thank God I completed most of them. Still working on it. But I'm trying my best to make sure that I communicate to you guys every now and then. Guys, today's video is why do I love this city? Why am I falling in love with it? By the way, it's raining as you can hear it. This is Gothenburg for you. <laughs> this is Gothenburg for you. It will rain any moment, any time. When you least expect it, it just falls. Yeah, this is like a rain city. I was told that, so I'm kind of experiencing it. It's like four to five times of uh, days in a week, you will experience rain here. So it's so rainy, but I love it. That's one of the things I love it. It's cool. Like now it's in July, it's not hot. Even with the rain, it's not cold. You just have to dress up properly. As I had that they say it in Sweden, there is no bad weather. There is only bad clothing. <laughs> That's what they say. Uh, so the other thing that I like about beside the rain that it can rain and you have nature to be taken care of it's the nature guys this place is super green I love I think it's the entire Sweden being green but because I live here and I like this place it's super green I'll talk about this place sorry about my glasses so that's it that's what's going on right now I need to be heading home but it's here is a, a bit of a shadows uh, shade so I don't have so much rain on me I'm waiting for it to cool down before I start walking home again yes so nature nature is uh, the thing that I love about Gothenburg it's very green you find um, forests nearly everywhere the third thing that I like about Gothenburg is space these guys have space these people have so much space you have no idea like space for exercise outdoor walking outdoor activity parks they have so much space that we never had in Athens we never had in Greece you could not find this isolated nice place for just your daily activity so yeah space guys space and another thing that I want to let you know is when you're in the city you know there's a multicultural people have different behaviors people behave differently there's a lot of things going on so um, you tend to lose your culture but when you get out of the city these people the Swedish people are so sweet they say hi to everyone I was surprised Last week, when I was in um, in the summer house, and every time you walk outside, somebody has to say hi to you. This reminds me of when I was a child. We used to like we used to like dance and play in the rain. So yes, I like the idea of saying hi to people. You know, just greet someone. Doesn't matter in the morning you never know yeah they do that which is something that people think that Swedish people are cold they don't open up to you very uh, quickly but saying hi is not a big deal almost home guys almost home so the other thing that I would uh, say I admire about uh, being here is a public uh, public offices guys they're very friendly having to live in Athens and know how when you're in public office people harass you like they really treat you like you don't belong anywhere especially if you don't speak Greek you kind of feel like being stepped on in all direction here is really smooth they are willing to help this is the thing People are willing to help. 
which I was like, are you for real? Yeah, people are willing to help. So public offices work perfectly fine. They are really nice. They're really friendly. They will give you all the information that you need. That's my experience in Gothenburg at least. So I would say public office as well is one of the things that makes me like this place. Which, you know, if you've been in Greece, you can tell that it's really, really hard to deal with the, with the public offices. Another thing that I really, really, really admire about, especially in Gothenburg, is driving, guys. Driving is so easy. <laughs> It's so easy to drive here. <coughs> the roads are so spicy. Though they don't have a lot of traffic lights. So you have to get used to monitoring the rules, the road rules. And there is no honking. That's the behavior of us in Greece. <laughs> there is no honking. They have a lot of uh, roundabouts which uh, I think it's, a, it's the same thing in Kenya, correct me if I'm wrong. In Kenya there are a lot of roundabouts, so it's the same thing in Sweden as well, in Gothenburg specifically, they have a lot of roundabouts, but driving is so easy, it's so easy. They have uh, big roads, huge roads, I kid you not. And is that the fourth or the fifth? Well, another thing is a parking. There is a space for parking. There's no parking along the road. There's no parking uh, beside the road. There is no such a thing. There's parking space. You have to pay for it. You have to electronically pay for it. Those rules are like super, super nice. For me, any country that um, has developed in terms of uh, Technology, I really love it. Like it has developed so much in terms of technology. Everything is online, mostly. Mostly everything is online. You don't have to carry cash. Nope. So yeah, packing is such an easy thing to find here and you just pay online and that's it. Guys, I'm heading home. I'm all wet, but I feel good. The air, the fresh air, it's so amazing. So, love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share the video. Till next time.